they're working. Why go to the head and go for the knockout? Don't do it. Stay to the body. That's what they've done on the offensive side. Second down, four to go. Gives it to Steven Jackson outside, and just nothing there as Kruger makes the tackle. The Falcons offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Third and seven. He's going to get another carry. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Well, this game is close. This offense has got a lead. They're down in the red zone. Got to be very careful in situations like this. Falcon signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Should be an easy one here. The kick is through for three. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little today. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports.
Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs to try to control the pace of the game. It's Jackson's Falcons going up against Dwyer's Cardinals. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 13 matchup. Cardinals, Falcons coming up on EA Sports as we get late in the season, getting Week 13 kicked off. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. We have a little upset special coming your way today. One team's unbeaten. Well, when you're undefeated going into Week 10, you got to look out because, you, you know, your players think they're indestructible. They can't make mistakes, but we know they can't. And when you're undefeated, you are always going to get the best from your opponent. So look out today here, Jim. This is going to be tough. So that means Devin Hester will be back for the opening kick. And Jay Feely looks ready to get this one underway. But it gives your team such momentum, and your chances of winning, they go through the roof when you get a kickoff return for a touchdown. The Falcons lined up now for the point after. The point after is good. it at the 22 yard line first down here handoff made trying to fight through right up the middle of the field and now we'll look at the Cardinals offense this is one of the better offensive units we've seen in the NFL in years the Cardinals take it from the 23. Homer's pass will go for an incompletion this time. And here's the Falcons' defensive lineup. One of the best teams in the league this year against opposing quarterbacks. Here we go. One, 18. One. Third and nine. Ball comes out. The offense was able to recover the ball. The tackle was made. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. In NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it, he didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Hester's going to try and return this punt. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Ryan's going to jog out to the huddle now. Seven years in the league and seven years of vast experiences. The Falcons have it at the 39. Falcons now move the chains. Did you see zone defenses. Throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. The Falcons snap it at the 41. They'll mark him at the 34. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. 
Nice job by the offensive line. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. Second and four. Jackson, middle. That brings the play to an end. Here's our look at the Falcons line up on offense today. They struggle at times to move the ball, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare today. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Jackson is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. Getting away from the pressure. The defense gets the sack. Well, you see the defense is going to blitz, and you can't pick it up. As a quarterback, you've got to change the pass protection. Remember, protect yourself at all times. He didn't do it, so he goes down. The Falcons will take the snap from the 35. Looking to the right side and throwing. Keeps churning ahead, and Washington's there to take him down. Defense is about discipline, and when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers, a little overzealous, they get out of the rush lanes, the quarterback gets outside and makes the play. Out of the pocket. Ryan over to Douglas. Game's 20. We see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain. The ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You... Officials stop play now. They want to take another look at that last play. So they're looking to see if the ball came out before the knee was down. I think when you look at these plays, most of the time it's pretty easy to determine. Uh, Jim, you know, you can, it's just always a clear shot. When that knee hits the ground, you can freeze that shot and determine if it's a fumble or down by contact. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. The replay upstairs overturns the call on the field. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. They're not afraid to bet, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Second and goal at the two. He'll keep it on the play fake. Got the completion. And there's only two yards to be found right there. And now here's the Cardinals defense. This is a ball hawking unit that a week ago came up with four takeaways. down play coming up and last week that was not an issue as they converted time and time again ready to make the stop touchdown Atlanta the fullback gets the touchdown so many things they do are underappreciated blocking for the running back protecting the quarterback but nothing like scoring a touchdown The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. And this is Ginn running it out. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Dwyer's got it on the handoff, and that's a two-yard game. Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. 
even though they haven't had any big gains yet. There's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. Second and eight. Out to Gim. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. First down at the 36. Looking across the middle, Palmer's pass will be incomplete this time. The quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make let's that go, catch. Palmer's lined up, two tight end set. Dwyer's going to take the handoff now. They'll mark him at the 40. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 40. Homer's unable to find his target that time. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. And a touchback. First down here. Wide receivers are bunched up. Running away from the pressure. For about four. It's now second down. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. To the ground. Up the middle. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. It'll be third down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That picks up seven. That's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third and short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. And we've reached the two-minute warning. The Cardinals' defense now is going to go nickel. Ryan still has it. Roddy White falls in that bullet throw. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. First down at the 43. Looking long to Julio Jones. And they can't connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Second and ten. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This will take all the leg strength he can muster. An empty possession for the offense. So they opt to go for the long field goal try early in this game. And with the missed kick, they give their opponent some great starting field position. Yeah, I thought it was a big risk trying this long field goal here early in the game. And it, it could backfire on them. We'll see if the defense can bail them out. Carlson's got it on a pass that had some 
beat the Cardinals. They're gonna burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. to avoid being sacked for a third time from the gun. Palmer's unable to connect that time. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Cardinals take it from the 43. Over to Carlson, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The kick is good. That does it for the first half. Cardinals trail on this one. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. This is Ginn running it out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Dwyer is going to secure the handoff. That's a gain of six. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 25. Brought down at the 26. to that last carry. It's third and three. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Keeps it on the play fake, and he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. Hester's got it at the 27. Shanks past the defender. He's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Hester is able to show off his talent on that punt return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. First down at the 49. Ryan gives it up. And it's Daryl Washington who makes the tackle. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Ryan under center. Second down and eight. Takes it out of the eye. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Steven Jackson is a big man. You put those big shoulder pads on him, he truly looks like a pulling guard in this league, and he can run over anybody that gets in his way. Offense lines up here. Looks to his left. Interception. Running room, unstoppable. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown! Touchdown, Arizona. Well, on defense, to make a play like this, so much of it is about timing. Perfect timing by the defensive player. He gets the interception and runs it all the way back for a touchdown. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. 
how much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Bill, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Falcons offense heads on to the field. White's in the slot. The Falcons snap it at the 26. And he hauls it in. Tackles made. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Matt Ryan under center. Gets it out for the completion. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. They've come out in the dime package. The Falcons from the 32. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did an awesome job that time. They had the right defense called, and that time the defender almost picked off the pass. Good job by the defense. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. Offense lines up here. Falcons from the 32. Scrambling now. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. When you're winning a game in the second half, when you go for it on fourth down and you come up short, I'm telling you what, if you lose this football game, there is going to be a lot of second guessing going on. That was a big gamble, and it didn't pay off. The Falcons fans certainly had their heartbeat raised a week ago in a last-second victory. And now, once again, they're going to have to hold their breath to the end. Yeah, but they got to feel confident in the fact that they know their coaches can make the tough calls. They like their quarterback. They got a defense that can make plays. They like the situation they're in. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Dwyer's taking the handoff. He's tackled just two yards short of a first down. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. Dwyer's lined up in a single back formation. Second down and two. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot, and the throw goes incomplete. Right, yeah. Offense two, lines six, up yeah. here. Two, six, yeah. Third and two. Here's the handoff. Picks up about two. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. This will be second down. And now they'll try over again on second down. Final quarter underway now with this snap. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. The Cardinals offensive line, they had a middle mistake here. Why? Because they let somebody go unblocked. It leads to a tackle for a loss of yards on the gear. Get ready. Here, here, here. Hey. Homer's got it in the gun. And the throw, it's incomplete. Needing five to move the chains. Corners formation here for the defense. Takes it from the gun. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. And Phil in a close game where neither quarterback has played well. It's going to be interesting to see who steps up at the end. Yeah, you got to know as a quarterback in situations like this that it's probably not going to get better, so you got to deal with it mentally and try to fight through it and make some plays down the stretch. Abraham is going to make the tackle. Looking ahead, the Falcons will be on the road in Green Bay next week, while the Cardinals will be playing at home next week. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. 
They're going to run it on the toss. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. 